Hey there, Scorpios. How are you doing today, Scorpios? Uh, happy 2024. Uh, we are thick up in this here thing, and it is promising to be something very, very beautiful and amazing. So shout out to you, Scorpios. We made it. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> I say if you are a Scorpio, then you officially made it. You made it to the next level in your life, the next stage, the, ne the next opportunity in your life. And I feel like it's going to be absolutely amazing. So shout out to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpio members uh, for my Scorpio members, as well as for my Scorpio viewers, my subscribers. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for your support. If you are new, welcome. I am Brown Eyes here at Brown Eyes Intuitions. And it's all about the Scorpios. I said it's all about the Scorpios over here. But if you want a little bit of this and a little bit of that, then check out my other channel at Truth Reveal of 3363. And we can get just a whole bunch of everything over there. So Scorpio, it is about you and your love. So let's tap into your energy. Remember, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Shout out to my Patreon members. Um, I will be doing a Scorpio member reading, uh, not today, but tomorrow. And I will be pulling another um, 30 minute personal reading for you, whoever it is that's going to come out. Uh, Lady Starfish hasn't claimed it, but I'm going to pull another one anyway. But right now, it's all about your love and what spirit wants for you to know for your highest good. So we're pulling out the angel guide here and I pulled you three cards and I'm going to read them all because I haven't really been reading them like that. So. Check it out. You're going to know if this is for you because it's a general, but you, you know what resonates with you or not. So your first card talks about cutting the cords. Out with the old, God dang it, and in with the Scorpio new. Cut the cord. If it don't, if it don't, if it, no, if it, if it has an ex expiration date, if it has expi ex expired, then you, it's time for you to cut the cord. What, what is it that has been holding you back? So your next card here is ask and receive so it's almost like spirit is telling you when you ask for it, you got to believe you already have it because that's what ask and receive is almost like is you it's a for sure yes and then you have mother father god beautiful beautiful energy now cut the cords what does this cut the cord represents for you scorpio so it says in spirituality, cords are the energetic bonds that connect you to a situation or connects us to a situation, person, or place. There are different types of cords, but in this context, they are connections to situations or people that can have a negative and draining effect upon us. We can also create a negative cord when we have an expectations of the outcome of a situation especially when it is outside our control. So this is an important time for you, Scorpios, to release any attachments to people, places, situations, outcomes, or anything else that could be limiting your experience of joy. Angels are wrapping you in a light of love so that you can lovingly detach from situations that could be draining, dramatic, or damaging your health or purpose here. See? See, it's, I think I better let it go. Think I better let it go to KO. TKO. <laughs> it's time to let it go, cross watcher, exes. And it could be something as damaging as always seeing something negative. You know, you know, sometimes when you don't know a situation, you may be prone to think the worst. Whatever it is that no longer serves you, Scorpio Spirit is here to help you release that and cut the cords. Now, ask and receive here. Ask and receive. So it says, ask and you shall receive. Your angel guide wants you to know that help is available. You are being encouraged, Scorpio, to shift your perceptions and recognize that even in the most difficult of circumstances, a miracle is possible. Whatever miracle you need, it is available to you now, Scorpios. Your angel guide is encouraging you to recognize that you may have been blocking support by saying no to the things you wanted to say yes to and asking you to change that now. So Scorpio, when you begin to say yes to the, circ uh, to the experiences that light you up, you usher increased levels of support into your Scorpio life. See there? 
no, 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 no. Spirit wants you to say yes, 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 yes. So it's almost like a light switch. You got to turn it off. You got to turn off the negativity and turn on your inner light. Spirit say ask and you shall receive. So there's no no's. But at the same time, if you're still holding on to something that don't serve you, then it could be anything and it may not be what you want. So letting go of something, then asking for help. And then you sometimes you could ask and sometimes you may need to ask for help. And it's OK to ask for help to release bondages because you, we don't know everything. And sometimes when it's love involved, it could be a, a, a family situation, a romantic situation. We know that when your emotions are involved, it seems to cloud your judgment. But what spirit is telling you is that if it no longer serves your highest good because you know what makes you happy and you know what brings your vibrational energy down, then it's time to reconsider uh, moving in a different direction for your highest good. Everybody got to do it, too. Now, you, it ain't no need of you sacrificing your happiness for them to be happy. No, if everybody do their work, then everybody will be just fine. And then you have mother, father, God. So it says. Scorpios, you are connected to the power of creation at this time. Your spiritual parent is enveloping you in their incredible love and fulfilling you with divine energy and inspiration to help you move forward. See, it's steady talking about moving forward. See, 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 it's talking about moving forward. So this card is a message directly from the heart of God. It is telling you that you are significant and precious. Mm. You are loved beyond measure and the creator power is proud of you. You are being encouraged to have faith and know that anything is possible for you, Scorpios. No matter what you may be going through, you are always connected to the source of creation. So your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. OK, so you ain't no helpless Scorpio out here in on this earth. No, you, you, you're well protected. It's, it's like you got everything you need to succeed, to succeed, to succeed. You got everything you need to succeed in this human experience, because this is really what it's all about. Human experience here. So let's see what spirit has for you in love. You're going to have to cut the cord for some things that no longer serve you in order to tap into your power because guess what sometimes you can be connected to something that is knocking you off your game or draining your light but I feel like it's all still good okay I feel like you got something good <laughs> spirit what's going on with this good energy for Scorpios Please like, share, and subscribe, Scorpios. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also consider becoming a Scorpio member. And I am still extending my $5 per question via email. So if you're interested in that, take part of that too. So your overall energy is the high priestess four swords. So maybe you are taking a break. Mm. Four swords, king of wands. The Hierophant, Five of Pentacles, Death, Page of Cups, Oof. The Hangman, ooh, 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 and the freaking Seven of Swords, Oof. Underneath the bottom is the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Swords. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. You got this King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, King of Wands here. Put my glasses on. Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, Libra, Gem Four of Swords. No, it's a Four. So Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The High Priestess, Pisces energy. Death, Scorpio, because you ain't got, and you got the Page of Cups. That's Scorpio. Ooh, you also got the Hangman. That's Pisces energy. You got the Hierophant with Taurus, so oof. This King of Wands here. For some of you guys here, somebody is trying to, somebody may be changing their perception or someone is um, tapping in. You got two spiritual cards. You got the High Priestess crowning the Hierophant. 
So for some of y'all, somebody may want to come to you. This could be somebody here from your past with the five of pentacles. Somebody may be feeling left out. With the seven of swords here, this is somebody here who, for somebody, this person may be trying to escape another situation to come to you. For others, this is somebody, we're going to have to find out what it is. So let's see, let's see. It is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. So let's see. Taking a break, recovering. Somebody may be trying to bounce back their finances here, even though I don't see that with the five of pentacles. This deck is this. Let's see. Do I want this one? No, I don't want that. Let me use this one. All right, let's see. Let's start off with this king of wands. Now, this could be you. This could be you, whether you're masculine or feminine here, looking very good, looking very attractive, very confident. But maybe your intuition is telling you it's time to fall back on something, okay? It could be somebody could be feeling this urge to really let go of a situation here because of things that you don't know. Like, for instance, I went out... Um, to this like a little, this is like a little hole. In, I, I call it a little hole in the wall. They all really like hole in the walls. But I had a good time for what I wanted because I wasn't looking for nobody. I was just going out to listen to some music, you know, shoot some pool like I always do. But I started realizing that the energy had changed and I was ready to go. But the person I'm with, I'm telling you, they you have to practically probably put this person out. OK, now if she, she's real, real, real. OK, it's my sister. She's real. She's real hood. She like all that type of stuff. But intuitively, with the high priestess, I noticed that the energy had changed and it was time for really time for me to go. But I'm looking at her like I already know you ain't ready to go, you know, but since I drove. <laughs> so I noticed that it was a lot of younger people coming in there. And the energy had changed. So I said, so I told my sister, I said, well, look, I said, uh, I'm going to be ready. <laughs> I hate to tell her. I, I don't know, because I just know that she's just ready, you know. So I look at her and I said, look, <laughs> I'm going to be ready to go in a minute, you know. So, uh, you you know, do what you need to do, because I'm going to be ready to go. And so she was like, oh, okay. But but I know she really wasn't ready to go. But like I said, I was driving. So I said, some told me, girl, go, go get your ass in your car. And right when I was walking out, I saw a chaos breakthrough. And so... I forgot that she was in there because I felt like she should bring a tail on. I wasn't going back in there after her. So when I got in my vehicle, she ended up telling me that. And this was right in front of us, right where our table was sitting at. This is what she said because I knew it was right in front of our table. I said, girl, what happened? She was like, girl, the, the, uh, the owner or somebody's sister came in there bringing a weapon and they, they weren't supposed to have one because they was checking people in. The weapon hit the floor, y'all. It dropped. It dropped out of her pocket. And she said, that thing could have shot me or anything. It fell right in front of me. And she said, right in front of her is right in front of us because we were sitting there. But I got up and walked out to my car. And I'm like, but you know what? I was so happy and so impressed because I know that I heard that right. Some told me, girl, get your ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be goddamn because anything could have happened. But it's good to know that she was protected too. But like I said, all thing that showed me is that I am protected. And number two, That'll be my last time ever going back to that place again. All right. <laughs> so some of you guys may really be tapping into your intuition. You're really listening to it now because you don't want to be steered wrong. And you may be feeling the urge to really pull away here. OK, you may be uh, telling yourself that you can do better, that you have what it takes. You know, you you know, you you king of wands here. Like I said, this is your external here. Then this is almost like somebody here may be pulling back, but reconsidering here, too. So let's see underneath the bottom. You got the page of cups. So let's stop this king of wands. Now, this could be you, Scorpios, or this could be, you know, like somebody in your external here. So let's see. What is up with this king of wands for Scorpios? Clarify the king of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Why is the king of wands here for Scorpios? Clarify the king of wands. 
I'm telling you, something fucking good. She don't want to go. She want to pop her ass all night long. And these young folks coming in here and they getting riled up. And I don't like all of it. I did. Look, I did what I set out to do. And I ain't got to do no marathon. I want to make it home safe. I was tipsy, but I don't ever get to the point where I can't handle myself. Because I know I got to drive and I try to be responsible. But, man, it just went from zero to 100 real quick. And I could have been standing there. I could have been sitting right there when that thing fell. And I'm just like, I was just so thankful. But I was so also happy because I knew that I was never going back there again. All right, King of Wands for Scorpios. I'm telling you, I heard that loud and clear. The Seven of Cups. Confusion, choices, illusions here. So somebody may be trying to come out of the illusions. Somebody could be in fantasies here. You could, this could be somebody here who you're not communicating with or somebody could be hiding something. You have the high priestess in the seven of swords. Why is the king of wands here with the seven of cups for Scorpios? What's going on with this king of wands? Who is this? Could be somebody here who is a player, got plenty of options. Mm, they go to hangman. You got the hangman twice. So because somebody is full of co confusion, they're not making any effort seeker. They go to the food card in the reverse. But there is an opportunity here. But because somebody is not clear about something, are they not making a move on it? Now, it could be some of y'all could be not clear about the outcome or not really fully aware. You may not be listening to your intuition correctly um, about a situation here. But I feel like there is an opportunity here, but somebody's not going to take it because they, they're not clear about it. One more card for this King of Wands with this uh, hangman could be a Pisces here. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. What's up with this King of Wands and this hangman for Scorpios? Ooh, that's why. <laughs> they not sure if you're going to, if you're good with it. Queen of Swords here. I bet that's you. It could be, y'all could be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign here. But I feel like somebody is confused because they may be looking at you like, especially if you've already pulled your energy back. Why is the Queen of Swords here for this King of Wands for Scorpios? Mm. Now, we know that Queen of Swords ain't playing no games. You know, at least the Queen of Cups didn't show up. See, the Five of Cups. <laughs> So somebody is full of regret here. Somebody is somebody cannot move on. OK, somebody is confused. I feel like somebody that you were dealing with needs clarity. OK, they're confused. Now, somebody may can't understand why you're so cold, why you're so detached. And look, they go to King of Swords now. See, I feel like this is somebody here who wants to make a move, but they can't because they already know that either you've already had some run in or you're not open to them. This is somebody here in their head. Now, see, they go to King of Swords here, see? Mm. So it's e either or, either you're dealing with an air sign or a fire sign here. Could be an earth sign. Why is the high priestess here for Scorpius? Clarify the high priest. What's going on with this high priestess Pisces energy? Spiritually, uh, spiritually sound, spiritual secrets, spiritual power here. Mm. There's the justice card, Libra energy. So is someone trying to tap into their intuition here, but they may not be trusting what they see. Now, this could be you. It could be them. We got a Libra here. Got a Pisces. We got a Scorpio. Pisces, Pisces. See, they go to Wheel of Fortune here. So something may be changing in someone's perception here or the situation is changing. Boy, I tell you, this is crazy. So you're dealing with Aquarius, you got Scorpio, you got Taurus, you got Leo, you got Libra. What's up with this high priestess with the will of four? All of these are major. No, yeah, all of these are major arcanas. The high priestess, justice, and the will of fortune for Scorpio. What else for this high priestess, justice, and the will of fortune? <laughs> Page of cups. So I feel like somebody's trying to listen to their intuition when it comes with you, okay? But I feel like they're not plain. I feel like they're not clear on what they're seeing. See, I feel like somebody wants something with you. And they go to freaking Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> so it could represent that things are changing in your, in your circumstances here, Scorpios. Some, it could have been somebody here who took a break, who you're in separation with, you took a pause from. 
either their life is going through a change or both of y'all life is going through a change. But I don't see you nowhere but in the Queen of Swords. I feel like that Queen of Swords is you. So let's see. You got the Four of Swords here too. Why is the Four of Swords here for Scorpio? Scorpio the Four of Swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is the Four of Swords here for Scorpios? Four of Swords. Four of Pentacles. So if somebody was holding back, Mm. judgment see I knew it I knew it had to be something like that see see somebody's having a spiritual awakening here see the universe is, is changing this see because you got the high priestess here see and now all they want to do is zoom a zoom zoom and a boom boom <laughs> Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So somebody's going to receive some type of communication from this person here. I feel like somebody here, whoever you've been taking some time away from them, this time, the time that you've been away from this person, spirit has been working on this person here. Now they have a lot of regret because somebody may be looking at you as cold and detached and unavailable to them. Now it seems like they're in their feelings over you, Scorpio, is what I'm getting here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Let's check the Seven of Swords out. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpios? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's up with the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords. Strength. <laughs> Strength. Leo energy could be dealing with the Leo. So somebody may, somebody may. I feel like somebody's just afraid to come back or try to come back. Why is the seven of swords with strength? Somebody may not be being honest with themselves or somebody's about to make a, a one of them type of moves where they may be trying to sneak out of something else. Or maybe they're just afraid to come to you because anytime you show up in this Queen of Swords energy, I already know you're going to make something move. You know, they take advantage of that Queen of Cups, but that Queen of Swords, they already know they ain't getting away with nothing then. So, so this could be somebody here that's trying to build their courage because they may look at you like you don't trust them as it is because you got the Queen of Swords. See, somebody trying to come to you, but they feel like it may not work. <laughs> this is so amazing that the Two of Cups are the lovers. Two of Cups, see? See? So they're being drawn to you, Scorpio. You know they are. Now, for some of y'all, somebody that you've always wanted a soulmate, they probably wasn't given at the time they were holding back. Somebody probably was full of their ego here. But the same person here who was probably full of their ego, because we did see the King of Swords here. Even, even this very, very confident person can't figure you out, God dang it. <laughs> They can't figure you out, Scorpio. They cannot. I feel like you done scared somebody with this Queen of Swords energy. They know they got to come a certain type of way here. See, it's a lot going on with this person here. See, I feel like this is somebody here who may be having a wake-up call. See, somebody is finally gaining clarity and truth. And they already know that you're not going to go for the mess with that Seven of Swords. That, that's what it is, Scorpios. That's what it is. So you done made a heck of an impression on somebody. They know that you don't play. Why is death here? Let's see why death is here. Clarify death for Scorpios. Why is death here? Endings, beginnings here, new beginnings. Mm, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles and the freaking King of Cups. See? Somebody, I feel like somebody is in love, okay? Because with this Two of Cups, it is a partnership. You're just hoping that it's good. There's mutual love here. But maybe they didn't get it at the time, okay? That's usually how it is, okay? Especially with these soulmate connections with these contracts. Because it is definitely a part of your karma here with this justice card and the will of fortune. So you guys are supposed to go through this, whether it is somebody from your past or somebody new. But I feel like this is somebody here who you probably pulled your energy back and walked away from. 
and now here somebody is looking for love. Now this could be somebody new. You could have put an end to one thing and now something new is coming. You got two kings in here, see? But I feel like it's them. <laughs> Three of swords with the devil, see? And they go to lover's card and the star card. I feel like somebody want to heal things or somebody want things back the way it is, but they're in a bad place here or somebody wants to start over. See, three of swords in the devil. See, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be a Capricorn. So I feel like this is a change for them too. I feel like you putting an end to something has changed them. Now all they want to do is come back in and repair whatever this is, this toxicity that came into the relationship with this devil and this three of swords that didn't nobody end up winning from. See, somebody want to heal things between the two of you. They want their lover back. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini. Let's see, you got the Hierophant here. Why is the Hierophant here for Scorpio? Could be a Taurus. Why is the Hierophant here? Clarify the Hierophant. Got Leo, mm. they go to fool. <laughs> Somebody say, should I, should I jump off this cliff and go it on and offer some type of commitment? Because I already know Scorpio ain't going with this Queen of Swords type of energy here. See, it's coming back around. The lover, see? I feel like somebody want to take a leap of faith towards you. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini. Could be a toy. All of these are major arcanas too, by the way. One more card for this uh, Hierophant, Fool, Lovers, and the Star. Because you got the Three of Swords here. So it's almost like somebody here, it could be somebody from your past, is looking at like, I done created a lot of heartache and pain. And all I want to do is get this person back by healing things between the two of us. And their way could be, I feel like they just want you back. But I feel like whoever this is, not only do they want you back, I feel like they're not planning on ever letting you go again if they can get you back. See, because they go to Ten of Cups. See, I told you. They want you in, your, in their life bad. So like I said here, see, because they go to Five of Swords in the reverse. Three of Wands here. Let me see. It seems like to me, whoever you were dealing with here, if you put an end to the separation, this is all they've been thinking about. They are holding on to you and this connection here with this Four of Pentacles and this Judgment. And something is going to happen here. The reason why they're ha somebody's finally waking up and somebody's about to take action. That's what it's about. See? All of this from your, whoever this person is, you took a time off from or you, then, you know, somebody really, really been thinking here. But I felt like they're only doing this because you're not around. You know, sometimes when you're so close to a situation, you can't really think, think properly. You don't do what's best for everybody. And the same energy here with that, with that judgment card could be represented that now they're intuitively sound now. Now they're, they're led intuitively since they've had the spiritual awakening and they know that they need to balance things out because it was not reciprocated. It was not a fair, balanced relationship, especially if they were holding back or being conceited. And now somebody wants to come in here for somebody. Somebody going to come and see. But the will of fortune is changing. The will of fortune is bringing in karma, good karma, and restoring balance. And I feel like this person wants to do it, too, with this page of cups and the ten of pentacles. I feel like somebody wants it all. So you got the ten, ten again, Scorpio C. You got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. And this is what you have. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Aries, Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo. So, but you got the five of pentacles because I feel like they don't like being outside of your life. 
with this five of pentacles, somebody feels left out. Maybe it's because you had to check them in the queen of swords energy. Why is the five of pentacles here for Scorpios? Five of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Now, I feel like somebody's going to make a move on you, Scorpios. Now, if you want this person, you can have them. <laughs> you got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. See, they go to Knight of Pentacles. Somebody finna come in here and bring you something that they know that's going to help them get a pass. Because if they come wrong and you showing up in the Queen of Swords, then they already know they're going to miss an opportunity with you. This person can't get over you, though, Scorpios. And I know y'all don't want to hear that, but like I said, don't come for the messenger. I don't have no dog in this race. You're in control of this. See, six of wands. This is six of wands out of seven. Six of wands. They want to be successful. They want victory here. <coughs> and they know that the only way they're going to have victory is by doing right by you. <coughs> one more card. Okay, one more card for this five of pentacles. Five of pentacles, page of pentacles. Wait a minute. No, it's page of wands. Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. See, somebody want to be successful coming back, or they want you back. That came out anyway, Seven of Pentacles. This could be somebody here who has been waiting to try to get back with you too, Scorpio. But I also feel like somebody wants to do some type of investing. That's why you got the... um. Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles and the and the freaking Ten of Pentacles because somebody is coming in here well equipped to give you whatever you want, Scorpio, if you still want it. So now you have the Hangman. Why is this Hangman here for Scorpio? I feel like this is your person knowing that they're going to have that they needed to change their perception and they're going to have to sacrifice and stop being so selfish. Because if you acting like you in love or you want love, then you're going to have to come and act like you in love. Don't come in here acting like it's all about you. See the Hangman three of cups because I feel like ain't nothing happening. But then once again, somebody is hoping that things turn around. The sun card could be a Leo after this ending. Death. <laughs> See, because you got death over here. It's the same person because all they do is watch you anyway. <laughs> For somebody, they watching and waiting, waiting and watching. All right. They obsessing over you because you got the devil card. But I see why. See, this is why. See, who they just keep coming. See, because for some of y'all, this is a strong twin flame soulmate connection here. See, this is who they looking at. The Empress with the four wands and it's a king of swords, but the king of swords ain't getting this. They're getting the queen of swords, Scorpio, but please believe you are that chick or that dude. You're the Empress with the four wands. So, yeah, there's a strong connection between the two of you. And maybe this is what's finally getting somebody's attention to do right by you. All right. The uh, page of cups got the page of cups twice. Why is the page of cups here for Scorpios? Got the page of cups. Why? Like, I feel like they finna come in here and tell you, look, I'm sorry, baby. I ain't shit. I ain't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody wants your love. Somebody wants your love. But now you're dealing because now they're in their feelings and now they're open for love since they done went through this major change in their life. But some of y'all may be emotionally detached now. So they may be showing up in the King of Cups while you may be in the Queen of Swords. Because when you probably were the Queen of Cups, they was not the King of Cups. They probably was the King of Swords. So now the King of Swords, King of Wands, I feel like is now ready to love. But some of y'all, you and this Queen of Swords energy. So this is probably why this person has a lot of regret and a lot of loss. Because you're in this energy now. And ain't nothing happening to Hangman unless they do something here. But like, I feel like this person may fantasize about you a lot because they show watch you a lot. But there is a lot of regret because somebody realizes here, Scorpio, that they don't have the best part of you now. They got that cold part, the same part maybe that they were giving you. Now they're getting it back. But now the roles have changed because you got the will of fortune. Now they all about love and you all about ice. <laughs> they all about warmth and you all about coldness here. But that's what they brought out of you. I feel like here. All right. Page of cups for Scorpios. What's up with this page of cups? 
six of swords. See, they don't want to fight. They don't want to fuss. They don't want to do any more manipulation here. See, I feel like somebody wants to come in so bad. <laughs> but they don't know if the uh, queen of swords wants them. See, told you. I feel like either they're saying you have moved on. But there is the high priestess. I feel like spirit is trying to talk to somebody, but I feel like they're not they're not they're not trusting what spirit is showing them. And it could be you. OK, that the high priestess here. I feel like it could be somebody here that's keeping it to themselves because you got the high priestess, the justice, uh, the will of fortune, the the, two of, uh, the page of cups and the ten of pentacles. So this could very well be someone here that's not talking about it. OK, especially because they don't know the end result. So this could be somebody that's kind of keeping it to themselves, kind of like a secret. You know, they're planning because you got the tower card for some of y'all. Somebody going to surprise you with a, uh, a real conversation here. Um, and they're going to bring you clarity by bringing you the truth. OK. And for some of y'all, the truth is going to be that they're in love. All right. All right. The page of cups. Page of cups. The nine of pentacles keeps on wanting to come out. See, and I feel like it's all about you, Scorpio. See, because there go that empress again. And there go that freaking four wands again. And there go that king of swords again. See, because so some of y'all, this person is not sure if you're still single or not. And I feel like this is what scared them. <laughs> That's why it's a lot of confusion, even though they, they trying to I feel like somebody trying to boost themselves up. But there's still a lot of confusion because they're not sure if you are single or not, Scorpio. See, because they're definitely watching. They're really in their head here with the King of Swords here and even with the Page of Swords because somebody know that it's over. But now they have to face the dilemma of whether or not you're already with somebody because you're not with them. But like I say, they're definitely they are afraid because they left that Queen of Swords energy and they're afraid of what they don't know. But like I say here, I feel like some type of truth or clarity is going to come out of this. Now, either it's coming through for them or they're going to bring it to you. I feel like somebody's ready to have this open a conversation with you because somebody wants back in. All right. But it seems like they want you forever. You got the 10, 10. All right. <laughs> all right, Scorpio. Well, let me pull some more cards. Let me, let me see. What else do we got? What's the cards that I use? Where are my cards at? Here. All right. Let's see. Let's pull some more cards. Let's see. I don't want to end just yet. Let's see. All right, Spirit. Show me some more about the person that is coming to a Scorpio what more about the person that's coming towards Scorpio? What, what else about this person that Scorpio needs to know? Tell us more about the person that is coming towards Scorpios in a little bit more detail here. What's going on with the person coming towards Scorpios? <laughs> See? <laughs> Ah, uh, here they come. Uh, uh, here they come. Six of cups. They thinking about you a lot, though. See, I feel like somebody's looking at you like they actually can have something real with you. What else for the person coming towards Scorpio? Uh -oh. Six of cups. <laughs> what else for the person? Soulmate energy. Person from your past, past life, relationship, six of cups, <laughs> see, nine of pentacles, and then nine of pentacles go again, and there go justice again, see, there could be a Libra, but this is somebody here who wants to restore balance, and here they come with the chariot, could be a Cancer, could be a Libra. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So it's repeating itself. Somebody coming in to uh, balance the scales in your relationship here. And I feel like their way of balancing is that they're open emotionally, which y'all probably ain't open now. You're getting the Queen of Swords, see? Ace of Pentacles and the freaking Wheel of Fortune. For some of y'all, this person's having a tower moment because they go that tower card again. For some of y'all, it's another Scorpio that's coming your way. A Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Then you got the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, see? 
Somebody's raising there. Somebody wants the truth with you. They don't want to fight no more. See there, somebody defeated. <laughs> I feel like somebody is defeated by Scorpio's love. They defeated by your love, Scorpio. That's what it is. Somebody's realizing that they cannot compete with this because you got just, it's almost like, I feel like if somebody is guilty of doing you wrong because you got the justice twice, somebody, they, they're not going to find peace. You can't, they're not going to be able to go on and move on and live happily ever after. The thing that occupies this person's mind on a daily is making things right. See, this is what got their head is making things right. Because somebody may finally be realizing that it is part of your destiny and their destiny to establish something with you because I saw the uh, Queen of Pentacles. But like I said, this is a realization to your person here, Scorpio. See, they go that tower card again. See, and I feel like what they are realizing here once again, and I keep seeing it, but this is what it is. You are way, you are worth way much more than maybe they ever even showed you, Scorpios. You know it's hitting them hard now because they ain't got you. They get they getting the Queen of Swords energy. They getting that I don't care, you better not move wrong partner type of energy when they used to have it all. Now, if they want it all, they're going to have to come give you all is what I'm saying here. <laughs> all right, Scorpio, this is your love reading, honey. So if you now you know Scorpio is all about you. Now, by this empress showing up, it just goes to show that you don't have to settle. The right one for you is going to come in here doing what they should do. And even though you always have somebody trying to show up from your past, does not mean you have to be with them. And then this don't say who comes and go in your life, because check it out. You do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in here. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This could be with somebody from your past. And it also represents that there's an opportunity to move forward with a new relationship, too. It's all up to you, Scorpios. If this video resonates with you guys, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, Scorpios.